How are you guys doing out there? Hope you guys are doing at least as good as I am today, which uh, for a change, I'm actually excited because I just bought the Rise Tello with DJI with an Intel processor, just like computer or laptop. Uh, I'm very, very, very excited about this. Check this out. It's got all kinds of interesting uh, specs here on the back. 13 minute max flight time, 720p HD transmission, precise hovering, which that is true by the way. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. More multiple flight modes, 5 megapixel photos, easy operation, electronic image stabilization programmable with the Tello SDK, accessories that you can get for it, charging hub, different colors. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get to opening this bad boy. So I've got my handy dandy box cutter knife here, ready to go, and we're slicing it, and it's cut. Moving right along here. Looking right at me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Okay. Oh, that works. Wow, look at this thing. That's badass. I can't wait to fly this thing. I think I gotta charge it first, though. Let's. Just, no. It's got these little locking thing jigs on the corner here. Okay. Can't do this with one hand, so here we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's just way too badass. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wow, this thing is so light. Doesn't have the battery in it. It does come with a battery, though. I'll get to that in a minute. But man, look at this thing. Got a micro USB charging port right there. Doesn't come with a USB cable, though, I guess, to reduce costs which uh, you guys will see in a minute why this thing, well, I guess in the next video, my first flight video, after I charge this thing, you guys will see why these things are worth every penny of the $99.99 that I paid for it. If you'll notice on the uh, sticker here, it says open here for accessories. So let's get to cutting this one. Silica packet, a owner's manual. We have in here the battery and spare propellers or props as they're called. I'll get to that in a minute. One thing I guess I should mention now is that I did go out and buy the additional battery here just because I want to be able to fly it for at least 20 minutes to be able to get some decent footage while I'm out which is part of the whole reason why I bought this thing, because I can be excited about going out, just thinking of all the possibilities, all the things that I can film with it. And since it is below a certain weight, it is technically, legally considered a toy. In fact, I can show you guys exactly how much it weighs here. Just give it a minute. So this drone without the battery, I haven't put the battery in yet, comes in at 41.8. 8 grams. So there's a little packet that the battery came in here, so we'll open this up. It's got this like kind of sticky seal on it. There it is. So the battery, let's see how much the battery weighs on its own. Let's dump that for now. The battery comes in at 23.9, just shy of 24 grams. This into the Tello here with the uh, contacts facing downwards. So that goes right in. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got a dirty mind. Anyway, there we go. So now its current weight comes to grand total. As soon as it stops wobbling here, 76.8 grams. So following up on my earlier point there, this is well below any uh, requirements with the FAA or anything. This is considered technically a toy, but as you guys will see in a minute, it's not really, um, well at least not to me, 
It may be in the government's eyes a toy, but to me this is a flying camera. It is a very valuable tool for my Network 126 channel. Here's the uh, propellers here. They'll, if they fall out, there we go. Comes in its own separate little baggie here. Well, I guess I'm not going to take that out now. I'm just going to put this away in a safe place in some corner somewhere. So it comes with a full set of spare propellers there, along with the uh, propeller removal tool, it looks like. So it looks like you just sort of like wedge this in between there and like, I guess, pry up on it or something. I guess it'll say here in the manual. So let me know what you guys think about that below in the comments section. While I charge this thing up, it's got a, as I showed earlier, a micro USB in there. I'm actually, this is upside down. It should be in with the, the spiky uh, little prongs there facing down. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, now we've got a blinking blue light there. Perfect, it goes well with my Network 126 blue theme. That's great. So we'll let this thing charge, and uh, as I've seen in other YouTube videos, so I can skip reading the manual, at least for this part, uh, when it's fully charged, the blue blinking light will turn into a solid blue. So if you'd like to see the first flight video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next time.